Come visit the Winter Olympic Game Sites of 1932 and 1980 in and near Lake Placid, New York. Then we'll navigate on over to the Antique Boat Museum in Clayton, where the history of boating in New York State is still afloat today. Also, the Adirondack Museum shows us how important outdoor recreation has been to the development of the Adirondack Mountains. Hello, I'm Derek Meerton. Welcome to A Path Through History, showcasing the rich heritage that is a vital part of New York State's amazing past. Lake Placid hosted the Winter Olympic Games twice, first in 1932 and again in 1980. Today, there are many things to do and see around the Lake Placid Olympic sites. Skate in the very arena of the legendary hockey victory, the miracle on ice, or take a lap around the Olympic speed skating oval. There are also bobsled rides and some of the best downhill skiing in the east on Whiteface Mountain. You can experience the Lake Placid Olympic sites all year long and make some history of your own. Along the St. Lawrence River in Clayton is the Antique Boat Museum. The museum boasts the largest gallery collection of antique and classic boats in the country with over 300 exceptionally preserved boats and boating artifacts. There are exhibits, speedboat rides, boat shows, and boat building courses, all serving to demonstrate the kind of fun that can be had on the water. The Adirondack Museum at Blue Mountain Lake is home to exhibits on outdoor recreation in the Adirondacks. The Great Outdoors, a permanent exhibit, caters to children and families and features hands-on discovery stations about outdoor sports in the Adirondacks. Another exhibit, Woods and Waters, guides visitors through the rich and diverse history of wilderness recreation by featuring historic and present day displays which bridge the gap and show some of the amazing similarities between outdoor recreation then and now. Here are some more places to learn about the heritage of outdoor recreation in the North Country. The Thousand Islands Museum in Clayton has extensive exhibits on waterfowl decoys and fishing tackle. There are numerous hikes for all ages throughout the Adirondacks. And some of the best fly fishing in the North Country is to be had on the west branch of the Osable River. I'm Derek Mearden, encouraging you to explore all these amazing places rich in the heritage that is a vital part of New York State's remarkable past, present, and future.